We are in the concrete jungle known as Tokyo, but it's time we take our talents to the dirt. That's right, we are headed to Mount Fuji to go overland with Mr. Albo and his Forrester STI and our nice Mitsubishi Delica. Sugoi, you didn't, you didn't do it. So many of you at home may see this as an ordinary Forester, but it's not. This is one of those Japanese exclusives that Mr. Albo happens to own. So what exactly is this? Gary King Jr., this is a Subaru Forester STI. I, I, I. It's a six-speed manual transmission dad wagon, basically, with a 265 horsepower EJ25. They took the SG Forester and they took all the good stuff from the WX STI and they put it into this thing. Like they took the Forester and just slapped STI in it real quick. So same engine, same brakes, same transmission, same LSD. That's right, it's got the Brembo brakes, four pots in the front, two pots in the back. The same engine from the WX STI. Still has STI across the top mount intercooler. It does. May I see it real quick? Sure. Okay, it is the same. It has all the same components as a regular STI, but on your coilovers, what, what is this box on here? Well, this is running Cusco Street Zero A coilovers with optional Econ 2 adjustable dampening system so I can change the dampening settings from inside the cabin, especially when it's as cold as this day. Mm -hmm. Nice. So on a standard STI, you get a wing, but I noticed you have this. Is this optional or did you add it? Actually, this is an aftermarket Sims style uh, wing, which I installed on the car, had a paint matched. This also has a Fujitsubo exhaust down here, which accentuates that boxer rumble. So you have this beautiful Yakima rack on here. What's in here exactly? It's actually a roof tent. Like, I like to pitch my tent everywhere I go. Mm, just pinching tents all right in the city, huh? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> I'm laughing frozen out here. The baby goes whack. So I noticed on here, you do have the nice Brembo brakes. I take this thing everywhere. I take it on Toyo runs. I also take it to the circuit. So it's running this little track pads. I'm actually running Nankang NS2Rs, which are extremely grippy. It's all wheel drive, so it's a square setup. And they're on 245, I think a 245, 35, 18. Nice. I noticed a lot of cars out here, which I love, by the way. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that. I noticed a lot of cars out here have these from the front end. What we got in the front end of what you have here, is there a big a big difference? The hood scoop is aftermarket, but the arrow at the bottom, like the lip, the side skirts, and the front and rear spats, uh, those are all OEM. So it came like this from the factory, aside from the wing and the hood scoop. Mm. So obviously, all of us don't fit into the Forester, so our boys over at Black Rhino gave us this. It's a 2023 Mitsubishi Delica. Yeah, they look pretty cool for a minivan. Yeah, it's a great overlanding choice. One of the big reasons is it's a 2.3 liter turbo diesel. So you have the reliability of a diesel engine, also selective all-wheel drive. And to make it even better, we have the Black Rhino Vol. This side, we got the uh, matte black, and the other side, we got bronze. Pretty sick wheel, looks good. Let's go see what other locations we can find. They're digging a new river, boys. Many of the roads that get to 
the camping spots are these really nice winding Tobia roads. So that's why I specifically set up this car to be able to enjoy the drive on the way to the camping spot. I needed a car that was good in all conditions, whether it's snow, whether it's raining. So all wheel drive, turbo, uh, and something that was also fun to drive, six speed manual. There was either this, there was the Evo wagon, maybe the Nissan Stasia. But in the end, I decided to go with this one because I really love Subaru and their whole rally heritage. And I've loved it since I played Gran Turismo 1. Yes, one. It feels just like my 04 blah by and it's making me miss it every single second. I'm having hella FOMO right now, not being able to have any of my cars over here, but at the same time, it's nice having a nice purpose-built car. This is a wagon, and it drives like an SCI every time we do that. I'm more comfortable in here than most of the Skylines that I have. Like, the leg room's nice, and even when I sit in the back of this car, it's like, it's hella big inside. It's still a performance car, but you get all the amenities being able to fit people in here, and you have full interior. A lot of people in the States will believe, oh, I need to get a car to make it faster instead of just driving the car. I actually decided to keep this car relatively stock. It still has the, you know, original motor, uh, not tuned, 265 horsepower, maybe 270, with stuff like the exhaust and like the headers. Um, but I think it's it's good amount of power, and it feels great on these whining Tokyo roads. Micah Diaz, it is colder than the devil's nipples outside the Himalayan house of four. Samui. I ain't never been this layered up in my life. I feel like the snowman in that Campbell's chicken noodle soup commercial. Like a delicious hot bowl of Campbell's soup. But aren't you guys glad I took you to this amazing camping spot surrounded by mountains with Mount Fuji in the background? <laughs> oh, it's cold as shit. Okay. This is actually fun. I'm actually excited to get in a tent. I've never been in a tent. Dude, it's awesome. And listen, listen it's super, super cold out here, but my philosophy is the more you suffer with your friends, mm. the better of a memory it is. So I hope it gets colder. Yeah, anyways, let's set up the tents. Let's make it wish, wishes me 5,000 years <laughs> of pain. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he, uh, what? <laughs> Has he met Skydo before? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys would be listen, best friends. Listen. Guys, you're missing out on premium content. Oh would y'all like to see a tent get set up? Like what do you mean get the other side? Oh man, somebody timing this so dirty. You about to do something? Yeah. There you go, go down. Nice, that's it. Wow, that was easy. What's right? the weight limit on this? Uh, two of me. <laughs> if this breaks, who knows we're gonna buy us a new one. It's it fine. ain't about buying us a new one, it's about being it's Come here, here. come here, All I'm right. cold. Let's open it, there you go. This is great, we're enjoying this very much. It's very comfortable. That's a wrap. <laughs>